Author Timothy McLemore is an activist who shares positive stories about gay men, including his own journey overcoming domestic abuse. He has a very important message, especially for the LGBTQ plus community. And it's also the title of his new book, Love Is Not Abuse. Wow. Timothy is here live. We so appreciate you. Welcome to DBL, Timothy. Thank so, you guys for having me. Thank you for being here because uh, obviously this is, a, this is a very important message. You didn't actually get the chance on your own terms to come out to your family. So how did you end up being outed? Well, um, a previous relationship of mine that doesn't pertain to my book, um, once I ended the relationship due to his infidelities, he decided to be spiteful and tell my family members, my mother, my stepfather, oh my and my uncle all through via uh, social media. Oh. Um, thankfully, it worked out good for me in the long run because my mother and my stepfather have been nothing but supportive. Oh, um, they're actually like my biggest cheerleaders. Uh, mom is a momager now. So <laughs> it worked out good for me, but for other people that could be very dangerous. Mm -hmm, right. Some people's family may not be as accepting or open to that type of lifestyle. Yeah, not how violating and also how da potentially dangerous. I wanted to ask you this, and, and I know it's quite sensitive, but following that relationship, your partner physically abused you. Thank you for being open about this. What was your breaking point? Someone watching might really need to hear that answer. My breaking point was when it was near lethal. Um, for me, everything just snapped. And actually, after I got in my out of my relationship, I learned that a lot of these cases are unreported. Only 26% of near lethal domestic violence towards men is, is reported. Um, and that's according to the National Coalition Against Domestic Violence. So Timothy, you're kind of just got on that topic right now. What makes domestic abuse in the queer community different? You were kind of leading on to that. Yeah. Um, it's unreported, honestly. Um, there's not much awareness to it. And um, a lot of us are victims in many other ways, but domestic violence, especially amongst each other and um, intimate partner relationships, um, there, there's no guidelines, there's no uh, awareness for us. And so I really wanna make a change and I really wanna you know, tell people that love is not abuse. That's amazing. All right. Tell us also what actions should people take if they are or know someone in an abusive relationship? Again, speak right to that viewer. Yeah. If, first of all, if you see something, say something. And that goes for everyone. If you see one of your friends are not acting like themselves or you hear about the violence, say something. Because the sooner that you raise their awareness that the relationship that they're in is not normal, yeah. the sooner they'll be able to leave that relationship. You also establish yourself as a resource for them when they're ready to get out of that relationship. Now, if you are currently in a domestic violent relationship, you need to start with a paper trail. I know we don't have the best relationship um, with our imperfect justice system with you know the queer community, but we need a paper trail. You need to, to, to remove yourself from the situation, contact your authorities, and get a restraining order. Mm -hmm. Wow. Timothy, what you're saying is saving lives. Like it. Thank you. And I know it takes a lot of vulnerability and a lot of courage and just I want to thank you. And I know for a fact that one of our viewers watching is either personally going through it or to your point, the see something, say yeah. something. They know that they should probably do something. Mm -hmm. So where can we send our viewers who might need support to leave that abusive relationship? Yes, um, you can follow my nonprofit organization, Essential Haws, H-A-U-S. Um, I, I just recently started it. I just finished all the groundwork. We plan to open a queer shelter that's open to trans, bisexual, gay, lesbian. Um, we really just want to help people get out of these relationships, whether they need housing assistance, job placement, educational resources. So smart. We just want to be there to make a change for them. Timothy, I just wanted to circle back because you mentioned a paper trail and a paper trail can come in a lot of different ways. So can you be a little bit more specific about having a paper trail so that you have something to corroborate um, when it's time to either go to the police or leave or get a restraining order? Yeah, that's an amazing question. So in my case, personally, 
um, my previous partner that was abusive towards me, he was smaller than me. So when the police came, mm. thanks to papers that called, um, when the police did come, they kind of had question marks, you know, you know, but here I am, I'm bleeding and everything, but they're just kind of like, you know, defend yourself. And um, I just felt like it wasn't uh, helpful. Um, so I feel like having a paper trail because eventually when he did go to jail after the eighth or ninth incident, um, when he did go to jail, all of those previous phone calls and reports right. helped mm -hmm. in my in my case. Yeah. Wow. Do document, so, document, right. document. Phone calls, text Definitely. messages, journals, journals, yeah. and screenshots if you need yes. to. Right. Anyway, it doesn't have to be paper. It's exactly. digital. You know what I mean? Wow. You know what, Timothy? Very thank much. you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. In fact, TBL Nation, later this month, you can actually go and pick up a copy of Timothy's book, Love is Not a, a, a Abuse. What a powerful statement and title. And you can get that on Amazon. We will be right back. Thank you, Timothy. Thanks, Timothy.